Hey guys, Dave here. Welcome to the Imagine Acre Wood. Um, I know a lot of people have asked for updates on all of our animals out here in the woods. So um, we're going to bring you an update today. Um, make sure you hang out with us and we'll bring it to you here just after, uh, after this intro. All right. All right, guys, so um, as many of you guys know, we had kind of a rough winter out here. We had um, some losses here on the homestead. One of the worst was losing our young calf, um, and uh, that was a tough day for us out here. Well, um, a lot of you guys have noticed that we've been kind of absent in showing off our, um, our animals out here on the homestead, and there's been a reason for that, guys, okay? So, um, we unfortunately have had some issues with the yak herd through winter, um, and um, we ended up losing three of our yaks. We lost bangs, uggs, and we lost um, marmalade. So we still have Miss K, we still have Droopy, uh, we have Cheeks, and we also have our calf Indy. So those are the four yaks we have left. Um, what happened was, and we just had our vet leave today again after a checkup on them, so we are progressing. Hopefully we're to the point where we're not going to have any more issues and we're past what we were dealing with. But what happened was, is this winter, guys, we had a very unusual kind of winter out here. It was very, very wet, wetter than normal. Normally it's, it's, uh, it's actually fairly dry because of the snow we have. So, but it was a very, very wet winter. Um, normally we have a dry snowy winter. Anyways, what happened was, guys, is the yaks developed a case of rain rot. Now, we're not exactly certain how that occurred. What we do believe is in the yaks that it progressed to worse, what we believe happened is when we introduced Miss K here, um, she was kind of bullying the herd and, um, and not letting them get enough Food. So what we think happened is there was some malnourishment um, happening in the two young uh, cows or to the two heifers that we had, as well as with marmalade. So that allowed the the rain rot to get bad on them. Um, it, it may have started with the rain rot and then progressed from there. We're not exactly sure how that progression happened, but what we do know is the rain got rot got really bad on them and we ended up losing them. Um, we believe to basically freezing. What happened was um, the rain rot progressed. They lost a lot of their hair on their sides. And then we had really frigid, kind of the worst frigid temperatures we had up here, um, which led that left them susceptible to the cold. So um, what the vet has noticed is that, um, that uh, these two are still very healthy fat eating we did have our um and i'll show you i'll show you cheeks cheeks was a little bit skinny guys according to the vet and um the vet thinks that may have been a combination of one miss k not letting her get enough food to um potentially uh and this is this is my fault um we left the calf on too long typically we want to pull the calf at five to six months i let that go longer than i should have so um a nursing mama there adds to kind of that that skinniness, I guess. And then what we had is is the progression of that rain rot, um, and we had exposed skin to the cold, which led to kind of the tragedy that we had out here. Um, it's really rough, guys. Really rough thing to put up with. I uh, I I didn't. I wanted to bring you videos and I didn't want to bring you videos. It was just too hard. It was just too hard. I have tons of footage about it, but I don't know if you'll if I'll ever get that out. It was just really, really hard month there that we dealt with. So um, having kind of in introduced you guys to the problems, um, let me tell you guys how we've treated. So the vet came out and they gave some, uh, some shots, I, b I believe selenium shots and uh, what was it? Uh, Multi-min. I think something like that, basically a multivitamin shot, okay? So that helped them. 
Um, and I've been topically treating, so um, which I started right off the bat with blue coat and vetricin. So I started spraying as soon as I noticed the um, the issues with the the hair loss. I started spraying and the scabbing. I started spraying right away, guys. That has worked. That has really helped. Um, the vet said I made a good decision with that and uh, and and made the right choice with that. So. Um, that's that's the first treatment. Um, what I've also done is I've also chosen to separate the herd. So we've got uh, Miss K and Droopy here in one pen uh, paddock, and I've got actually um, Indy in her own, and then I've got Cheeks in her own as well. Okay, so we've separated the herd. Um, we're also making sure that the uh, that the yaks have 24 access 24 7 access to plenty of hay as much hay as they want they get um so that's what we've done um and then we're also today at the vet's recommendation going to go ahead into town and get some um some buckets um of i forget what it's called uh, basically what we give the goats it's like a, a multivitamin kind of bucket and protein and it'll help them um she said that in the winter time they they usually don't use the salt licks that they have for the selenium just because it's cold and frozen and they don't really want to mess with it much so i have noticed less licking on the blocks than normal the blocks are out there for them so i have noticed that you can see here on droopy's nose here see he's still got a little bit of scabbing we're treating there okay so it's it's starting to uh, starting to get better, and you can see on this side he's got none. He had a few spots here that have totally gone away, and the hair is growing back. Um, you can see on his rear haunches there a little bit, um, the, the fresh hair that's grown back, and he's got one spot on his other side. If he'll turn around here, that I can show you. Um, that that still has some exposed skin that we're treating, and 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 hairs growing back there as well. So we'll continue to treat with that. Um, let me go over here and show you where we've got um, where we have cheeks and Indy. And again, guys, this was just a really hard lesson to learn, I guess, um, for us up here. Um, the vets, you know, the vet has commented both times that we're crazy for wanting to, to be up where we're at. We're very remote, guys. So, again, we were just barely able to get a vet in here um, a few weeks back. And, again, this is the second follow-up visit. Just wanted her to come out again and, and check on the herd and make sure everything's all right. So, um, but uh, that's what we're dealing with, guys. So, you guys can see here, here is Cheeks. And you can see she's got blue coat on her. Um, you can see on her side here, the scabbing, okay? So she still has some, some little, little areas where we're still treating. Um, you can see in a lot of these areas back here, the hair is starting to grow back, which is great. Um, but we're still treating as we have scabbing. So um, the yak right now that I'm still most worried about is cheeks here. Um, the vet did say that, that she's looking fatter, better. So we're gonna, we're gonna continue with that. Um, she's, she's got, again, 24 access to all the grass that she needs to graze on. And uh, this is, you know, this side looks a lot better. It's starting to get better. So um, we're going to continue to treat with that. Let me get in here and I'll show you Indy. Now, Indy had developed a little spot of the rain rot on her nose. Okay. Okay, you can see there where the hair is shorter than the rest. She developed a spot on her nose. I treated it, it's fully gone, and Indy is recovered. Um, she looks the best out of all of them, she's looking great. So, um, backtracking guys to when we lost the calf. Um, when we lost um, the first calf, the first loss, yak loss we had. What I'm thinking now in hindsight what happened is mama was um, was struggling with the rain rot, um, was doing really badly, and I think she chose to kill her calf because uh, the calves were still suckling at that time. So in hindsight, that's what I'm 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 leaning towards happened with that calf. So I know a lot of people were wondering potentially. We, there's a lot of talk about that. Um, I think that's what happened, guys. I don't think it had anything to do with any of the other yaks. I think mama. Um, mama knew that that she wasn't doing good um, and uh, in order to try and save herself uh, killed the calf and then we lost mama after that so um, that's what I think happened um, the other two 
uh, the heifers that we lost. Now, they were always kind of bullied by the entire herd. Um, I always tried to make sure they had their own individual spot to feed from, but um, I think there was potentially some issues there that caused them to have it bad where they weren't getting enough hay. So we're going to make sure that that's not an issue moving forward. Um, we know now what uh, kind of what we had, what, what's going on out here. We can treat for it, and we can get these, these yaks back healthy, hopefully. Um, hopefully no more losses. Again, Miss K and Droopy, they're nice and fat, okay? Miss K never developed anything, you can see, other than a couple of tiny spots on her nose here, okay? So, again, um, just treating the rain rot um, the best we can, trying to get that all off of them and out of them and keep them as fat and healthy as possible is what we're doing right now. Um, I don't know exactly what will happen with everybody moving forward um, so stay tuned we're gonna from here on out I guess bring you what exactly happens with them and, and what we're in for with them moving forward so you guys can kind of be aware um, yeah guys it was just a really tough winter for us up here um, I mean, we chose to move up here and, and we love it up here and we're gonna get through it but next winter, we'll, we'll have some more precautions that we'll take with the yak herd leading into winter to where hopefully we don't have any more issues. Um, There's a lot of losses this year, big time hit for us. Um, but not only that, I was really attached to those yaks. Um, uh, two of them I actually had to put down and that was really tough, guys. That was really, really tough. Um, I do get attached to my animals, so. But yeah, so we're gonna continue to, uh, to, to get these yaks the feed and, and care that they need. Um, I know a lot of you guys asked about it. Uh, All right guys, so I apologize, the bottles are a bit dirty here, but this is what we've been treating with, um, Vetrisin and Blue Coat. So um, that's what we've been treating the herd with here for the, um, for the rain rot. So yeah guys, we're just gonna keep treating them here the best we can here. I don't know if you guys can see over there, you can kind of see Droopy on his haunches there, a few of the little kind of balding spots. So, um, so yeah guys, we're going to keep doing the best we can with them, try and get them all healthy here, uh, back to normal, and then hopefully next, by, by next fall, next rain season, next, uh, next winter, we'll hopefully have some, something built for cover for them. That's, that's going to be my top priority this summer is to get, um, get some sort of structure built for them for good cover. So you guys can see the cats are doing just fine. There's dragon over there. This is, hi Lily. Hi Lily. This is Lily. I don't know where Crocus is at. Crocus is around somebody probably out hunting. He's always out hunting. And then that's a dragon there. My pretty kitty dragon. Come here, kitty, 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 kitty. Hi, kitty, 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 kitty. All the dogs are doing good. Everybody else is doing good. It was just the yak herd that had the the issue, guys. So tough, guys. Tough to have losses like that. Really tough. All right, guys. So I just got a. A load of hay here and was uh, offloading some of this for the yaks. So we're getting ready to haul some of this over the yaks for food. But you guys can see here, the goats are doing just great, guys. Um, fat, healthy, um, and uh, eating well. Now, we uh, with these goats, uh, we were milking them, as you guys know, all through um, the warmer season. Um, we decided with the amount of milking they had done previously at uh, their previous owners that we decided we were going to let them have kind of a season off. So we did that. Um, as you can see, they're fat happy. We're thinking about getting them bred here um, soon. So doing great, doing great, Trixie. And over here we've got the geese. Howard and Daisy, you can see they're still doing good, guys. Doing real good. We did lose some chickens to predators, guys, unfortunately. Um, we started out here um, with, with nine chickens. Um, we added two roosters, and um, we have, we're actually down to only two chickens, unfortunately. So we're going to re-up on our chickens. Um, we, we had them out free-ranging, and we lost actually within kind of a 
hour period four to Hawks, guys. So that was rough. Um, so, yeah. Um, that's where we're at with the chickens and the geese. Good boy, hi. Hi, good boy, hi. Hi. I don't know if I've ever introduced you guys to Enoch. This is our German short hair pointer. And we've been working with him on and on. He's got very high energy. He's still a pup. And uh, the reason we haven't had him kind of roaming around more is because he's been learning to, uh, to deal with the birds and the farm animals around here. He has a very, very high um, drive for birds. So um, we're working on him with that, but he's doing great. Good boy, not Good boy. So yeah, anyways, guys, um, winters are hard in North Idaho. We've been here um, 15 years now, but we've never raised livestock other than chickens. And um, this winter, I know, for a lot of people was rough. A lot of uh, friends and and people I know in the kind of um, in the farming industry, um, people that run small hobby farms, etc. Um, they have had losses as well this year it's been a, a very tough winter for for a lot of people in north idaho so um a very kind of interesting i can't remember in all the years i've been here a winter quite like this so um yeah with something like this guys that's kind of a not novelty um i've learned you're kind of at the mercy of very little research on the internet very little studies done and you're kind of in a in a guessing game even even our vet um you know had not seen rain rot on yaks before so um that's something that uh something that we we, we will live and learn as we're out here we'll get more experience and hopefully you can learn from us in the process learn from our mistakes and learn from the things that we're doing right um and if you want to raise yaks in the future well Hopefully we'll be a resource for you guys and we can provide more information about how to raise these yaks in a proper way. There's just not a lot of information out there. Um, I, did, uh, I did, through my research, find out as well, one of the issues that we had potentially was with the warm weather we have. When the yaks uh, set on their, their really heavy winter coats, um, they can actually sweat underneath those coats and it can cause some real major issues if it's too hot with those heavy coats. Um, and, and, and that may have been another issue as well. Um, I'm still leaning towards the, the issue was, uh, Droopy was riding the cows a little bit harder, um, exposed some of that skin to the rain rot, and then it just progressed from there. So just kind of a, a chain of events that happened here and it, it progressed to something that happened that was kind of tragic for us. So, um, hopefully we we're beyond it. We'll keep you updated on the yaks, keep you posted on the yaks, and um, and yeah. So yeah, guys, that's where we're at. Um, I know, kind of a kind of a sad video today, but I wanted to update you guys because I know a lot of you guys have been asking. Um, we're still doing daily walks with Indy, so we're gonna get back into showing you guys those, um, and we'll just keep you updated on the herd as we as we get through here. So um, thanks, guys. Appreciate you guys today. See you guys later.